Hello, I'm Noel. This is Antonia from Boxtail Soup. Uh, if you are not familiar with our work, we're a theatre company. Uh, you'll find out more at boxtailsoup.co.uk. The idea of these videos is basically to um, document the process of creating our newest show, Gulliver. Uh, obviously, we're in lockdown at the moment, as most of the UK and most of the world are. We won't be able to premiere the show when we thought we would, but we thought what we could do is at least show in more detail the, the process that we go through to actually create a new show. So here we are. Um, so far, as we do with most of our shows, we've, we've started with the book. So we're ad adapting Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. Uh, we've been back to the book, we've read it. We spent about three weeks uh, just before Christmas working on the first draft of the script. And once we had that, um, and it was very much a first draft because if you know the book at all, it's, I mean, it's, it was hard work. Yeah, it was the most difficult one I think that we've adapted. Ooh, yeah, it's there's work. no dialogue in it either. It's like yeah. a, just a journal, so it was it was tough. So we um, we came up with the first draft, and that gives us a rough shape, a rough idea of, of what you know the idea of what it might look like. Then we started doing some initial designs, um, some drawings to give us a feel of what we think it might look like visually just initial ideas stuff stuff that you know without thinking too much about how we would make it or how we would do it just trying to get the all the first stuff out there then um we've been working with mark collier who uh, we've worked with on many shows uh he was in a laptop on the corner on skype we were working in the studio social distancing writing yeah exactly. it's actually worked quite well yeah, yeah it worked surprisingly well uh, we've been through the script again, we've got a second draft now, and that is probably pretty much a rehearsal draft. We, it will change again, definitely, but we, will, we won't change it again until we actually get up on our feet and start doing some practical stuff. We got stuff quite again. excited about it, actually, didn't we? We were mm, really, yeah, yeah, really yeah. excited to actually start working properly on it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, over the last week or so, we've done a lot more design as well. We've done a lot more drawings. Antonio's going to show you some of those in a second. And we're just about to start... The process of making a few models and things. Yeah, we're starting to design some puppets as well. But these are set designs. So um, this is my first page. Noel kept talking about a giant anchor, so I did drawings based around a giant anchor because it's it was a stuck in my head. Yeah, a first image. So yeah, that was what happened here. They were kind of based around that theme. Uh, then we started widening the net a little bit. Um, pardon the sea-related pun. But the, uh, so there's like a sextant here, and then this mm. is the device, this one, um, the bottom, whatever that corner is. Um, These sextants are really interesting shapes yeah. as well, and uh, quite anchor-like, and yeah. Yeah, they were just kind of, we thought maybe Gulliver collects a bunch of stuff from random places he goes to, and then puts it all together in some way. Then I really, really liked the drawings in the book um, of maps of the, the lands. So there's these lovely sketch drawings in the book. Uh, so I tried to incorporate some of that into the design. And they, they started cropping up everywhere. Again, we went for more ship-themed stuff, rigging, compasses, all sorts, crow's nests, oars. Um, the next page got a bit crazy. I started... We started putting some horses in because of the Hoon, Land of the Hoon hymns. So we wondered whether the puppet strange horse book. might be. Yeah, it's a really strange book. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce that. Um, at this one, one of them looked a bit like a carousel. Noel told me after I'd drawn it. I was so pleased with myself as well. And he was like, ah, oh, tell me, I think you've just drawn a carousel. I was like, well, you know, one day. And then finally, we ended up with the concept drawing for the set, which we are quite pleased with actually, which, as Noel will be happy, is based around a giant anchor, basically. Um, it yeah, it was there. So uh, it's got, it, we sort of went for the ship of the mind was how we ended up going uh, for it. So we like to try and make sense of the way we've adapted a book and the design so that everything has, it has a reason and it's not just there because we like the look of something and everything is useful as well. So that's where we're at now. We're practically going through the design that we've got and the list of things that we think we might need, aren't we? And deciding what we would, what we would like to make mm -hmm. we like to try and use things more than once so uh you know like always will become something else something else will become you know so things things will get recycled yeah so main thing really isn't it so that's where we are at present um as i said now we're going to go away and we're going to start building some more practical models and doing some more specific drawings to build from um we're going to try and update this weekly so you'll be able to see the process as we go along 
and we'll show you stuff as we build it, show you stuff we discard, mistakes we make, and things we find out. No, there's always a lot of mistakes. <laughs> things we find out along the way. <laughs> uh, so thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.